Today we're talking about Annihilation, the new map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. We have four new multiplayer maps, Hangar 18, Silo, Drive-In, and Hazard, and a new Zombies map called Shangri-La. Hangar 18 is based in the highly controversial Area 51, and it has a lot of Easter eggs that play up the conspiracy theory aspect. Hangar 18 is a medium-sized map. It has a pretty classic multiplayer gameplay structure. All the paths lead through and around the hangar. It kind of caters for all game types. You've got your close quarters going through the, the hangar. You've also got some sniper points as well. Strategically, you want to hold down the hangar. You can work with your teammates to really control the four main flow points, then you're going to dominate the map. Silo is based on a Russian underground nuclear missile silo construction site. It's probably one of the largest maps in the entire game. Silo favors players who take their time because there's a lot of flank routes and a lot of interconnecting paths. So players who are smart and use decoys and pay attention to the mini-map are going to be more successful. You can't really stick around in one place for too long because you're going to get shot from multiple angles. You really need to learn how to play the map, how the paths flow, and you need to stay on the move. Nuketown was a really hugely successful and popular map with Black Ops, and we wanted to do another map in the DLC that kind of emulates that style of gameplay. Driving's a fairly small map, but it does have a variation of battles. You've got the wide open area in the middle, the actual driving itself, but then you do have close quarter battles down the side. So Hazard was inspired by one of our World at War maps called Cliffside, but it's a complete reimagining of it. I've actually turned into a golf course. It's a great level. Hazard is probably one of the only maps in the game that focuses almost exclusively on long distance engagements. And the long range snipers and LMG gunners and assault rifle guys are going to have an advantage. You're definitely going to want to avoid the fairway if you're not a sniper and stick to the edges of the map where there's some more intense choke points and medium range engagements. The story in Shangri-La is shrouded in mystery. I love to leave it up to the fans to derive their own ideas from it and also discover the effects that we put in there. I hope they really get the sense that we've taken this to just a whole nother level with the new weapons, the new environment, the new ways of getting around the map and things like that. There's a lot of holding areas, escape hatches, and things that let you get out at the last minute, which is a contrast to Call of the Dead where it was a very wide open map. This is a much tighter map. Don't hold out too long. If things look like they're getting rough, get out of there. <laughs> It's time to go. With Annihilation, we had a goal that we really wanted to push the visuals on all the maps. Each map feels very unique from one another. They feel like the kind of maps that you just want to spend a lot of time in. Annihilation hits Xbox Live Marketplace on June 28th. Alrighty, so that was the official trailer for the Annihilation map pack coming out June 28th. Uh, just came out today. I leaked a few images yesterday in a video, but uh, I just want to talk about uh, a few things that stuck out to me from these trailers. Uh, and then if you guys have anything that you want to talk about, be sure to leave them in the comments below. The first thing that stuck out to me was on the uh, new Area 51 map, Hangar 18. They've got some crazy electric stuff going on uh, under the floorboards, and there's all sorts of like alien type stuff going on in that room so uh, that should be cool I've always wanted a like alien themed map so uh, that'll be cool second thing I noticed is on the new map silo they've actually got some uh, nuclear warheads that launch out of the little uh, silos in the ground so it kind of reminds me of uh, countdown from Call of Duty 4 and uh, I'm wondering what will be interactive on all these new maps because uh, they always try to throw in like new different interactive things uh, hazard is uh, one of the new maps that they've talked about and it's actually a golf course and uh, the coolest thing about this map is it's a re like imagining a reimagining of the map cliffside from world at war and cliffside was one of my favorite maps from call of duty world at war so i'm really excited to see what they do with this game uh finally shangri-la the new uh, zombies map you can see that this monkey right here has uh the the power-ups that are above him are changing so it changed from a nuke to a hammer and then uh, I think that was max ammo so you can actually wait and when you kill the monkey you can decide what power up you want to get so uh, everything's looking good these maps look awesome the new zombies map is uh, finally gonna wrap up the storyline and uh, there's gonna be all sorts of different hidden Easter eggs throughout the map uh, just like they they seem to do with all the zombies maps so they got a water slide here that you can go down they've got all sorts of new traps they've got a, a mine cart that you can ride uh, it looks it looks awesome. I'm really excited for this new map pack coming out June 28th Like I said, so it's only uh, less than two weeks away. So I hope you guys are excited if you uh, whoa What the fuck is this little monkey doing? <laughs> if you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter they're on your screen right now I'd really appreciate it and uh, yeah guys that was the new Annihilation map pack trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it